Another handy calculator function when dealing with two proportion is the two prop z int or two proportion interval, uh, confidence interval of the differences on your TI-83. We have the situation where a player takes 100 shots with socks and makes 72, 100 shots without socks and makes 60. We want to know uh, if she's better with socks beyond statistically a reasonable doubt. And we did that with our p-value on our two prop z test. But now we want to know how different are they? How different are they actually? Now to find that, you would do a confidence interval of p1 minus p2, our proportion 1 minus p2. And that's what the confidence interval of the difference is actually finding. It takes uh, one of these and subtracts it from the other. Now since these are pretty simple numbers here, uh, 72 out of 100, it's easy to find the proportion, the percentage. If we were to calculate that out, that would be 0.72. And here, 61 out of 100 would be 0.61. So that means that I would expect that my uh, interval, the difference is going to center around, uh, if you do the subtraction here, 0.11 or about roughly 11%. Now, when I do my actual calculation, because there's an interesting little rule we have to do, uh, the plus 2 plus 4 rule, it might deviate slightly from that, but it should be somewhere near that 11%. When we go to our calculators to actually uh, find the confidence interval for it, we have to do the uh, plus 4 rule because it's a confidence interval dealing with proportions. Plus four rule says uh, that we need to add one to the number of successes in each proportion, and we have to add two to the total of each proportion. Now this, again, sounds pretty goofy. We had the same thing when we did a uh, one proportion uh, confidence interval, where we had to add uh, two successes and uh, four to the total. Because we're broken up into two different proportions, we, we do half of each. So instead of two successes, we do one to each. Instead of four total, we do two to each. So this is how we do the plus four rule when we're dealing with two proportions, the difference of two proportions. But again, let's get to our calculator. We have our stat tests and to find this interval, we can work our way up from the bottom. And right there at B, 2 prop Z int. To type in our values, we uh, add in the plus 4 rule. So 72 plus 1 would be 73. 100 plus 2 would be 102. 61 plus 1 is 62. And 100 plus 2 again is 102. For our confidence level, 95% is pretty standard, so that would be uh, just fine for right now, but you could do other levels also. And when we calculate it, we get something that looks like this here. Now this looks nothing like our nice little 11% we are hoping for. Instead, it's given in this interval form, and it doesn't tell us the middle. So we have to do a little bit more work to translate this into something that's uh, more readable or usable by us. So to find the middle of any two numbers, you just average them together. You add them and divide by 2. So if we take our point uh, 2, 3, 6, 8, 4 plus our negative point 0, 2, 1, 2, and we divide that by 2, we're going to get uh, 0.1078. And now if I round that off to, uh, let's just go with three decimals, then 0 0.108. So let's write that in. That's going to be our middle. Now, it's not exactly 0 0.11 because we had to do the plus 4 rule, but it's pretty darn close. 10.8% uh, and 11% are obviously very close. Next thing we need to do is figure out how far away each of these ends is uh, from this middle. So let's take the upper end as the way I like to do it typically and subtract the middle. And it's 0.129 away. So now we've got it into plus minus form, 
And again, that's also pretty hard to read, so I would translate it into uh, percentage form. So let's go 10.8% uh, plus or minus 12.9%. Now, this is something that's a little bit easier to understand. What's the difference uh, in your shooting percentage here? The difference is, is that you shoot about 10.8% better with socks than you do without. But if you want a 95% confidence interval of the, of the error in there, it could be plus or minus 12.9%. It could be uh, so much error that it turns out that you actually are better uh, without socks. Not likely, but it's possible. It's also possible that you're way better with socks. You're 20 something percent better uh, with socks. So this confidence interval here gives you a better sense of how much we can really rely on and trust this number here. So this number gives us a good estimate. This number, the plus or minus, the error, tells us how much we can really trust uh, this number here on the left. So that's how you find a confidence interval of the difference of two proportions.